Keenan Chan Holtz here, West Virginia Land and Home Realty at uh, 4605 Crittenau Hollow Road. Uh, and this is, the address might be Paul Paul here, but it's really closer to Slainsville. But uh, we've got a log cabin here on just, a, just short of eight acres here. And uh, just want to do a little outside walk around part. It's really windy and cold here today. Uh, but you're setting up on this hill and you got a nice view looking into the mountain this direction here. And the ground doesn't lay bad. It's all hardwoods. Um, it goes down, <clears throat> it goes a long ways this direction. The cabin's pretty well right smack in the middle of it. It's kind of like a, a long lot uh, that runs uh, parallel with Al Hollow Road, which the paved road is just below you here. So this property fronts on the paved road driveway comes up where my truck's sitting there and uh the cabin's kind of over against the the back property line somewhat but you really don't see anybody from here even with the leaves off uh and with the leaves on uh your daggone sure not gonna see anybody but uh check it out here now this place uh not sure right off the top of my head what year it was built but it needs some TLC I mean most of the stuff here is cosmetic but <clears throat> you see I'll just show you here they had a would-be problem here uh, and they've since been treated but the bees drill into the bore into the wood and then the woodpecker comes along and pecks a bigger hole to get the bee out and that's kind of how that works uh, you putty over those that's how you fix it uh, but and let me show you underneath the here probably it's built on wooden piers uh there's no real insulation to speak of in the floor that probably had to be addressed you can see the plumbing there uh it's exposed i mean there's ways to remedy that with heat tape insulation etc but um just wanted to point that out and i'll do you a little bit more walk around here outside um got a propane tank here that's owned by southern states uh there's a propane um kind of like it's kind of a wall unit but it sits on the floor for the heat inside that's the heat source um walk you around here and then of course here there's a back porch on it and everything um it's a 30 by 24 box and about half the upstairs is a loft in this thing but uh you know it's priced at 149.9 so it's priced according to the condition that it's in i mean it's really somewhat of a blank slate you'll see when i get inside i mean it's really open but it is it's log you know it's a real log cabin um and this is located kind of like on the eastern side of our county, uh, closer to Virginia. So the location's good. Um, you know, you're not much over 30 minutes from Winchester, Virginia right here. But uh, for a project, if you're looking for a bargain on a weekend place, just a spot to get away, you know, you could do Airbnb here, uh, you know, lots of things, but uh, it's a good value for somebody that's handy. Keenan Chan holds here, West Virginia Land and Home Realty, uh, at the inside of 4605 Crittenau Hollow Road. Um, you got a real log cabin here. It's a box. It's like a 24 by 30 box with an 18 by 24 loft. So it's about 1,152 square foot of space. So it's pretty big. But you can see it's just got this big open uh, concept. Uh, pretty basic. Um and uh just walk you around here in the living room that little fireplace looking thing's electric which they use that for supplementary heat and uh over here is this big propane uh kind of floor unit heater and that's the primary heat source right there um you'll see how the steps go up in here to the loft and i'll take you up here in a minute but let me show you the show you the bathroom here uh the hot water tank and pressure tanks in this little kind of like little closet right here you got a stackable washer and dryer and of course sink toilet 
in tough shower combo. But uh, let me get you around here. Uh, we'll go upstairs. Big heavy duty steps. Originally, they just had a ladder here that they had to climb up to get up into the loft. But this loft's really big. I mean, you know, it's just one big open room. Uh, you know, this is certainly big enough up here. If you want to divide this up into two rooms, it's totally big enough for that. But uh, let me let you take a look down. Exposed beams. Um, you know, this thing just needs some TLC and some remodel work. Um, you know, priced it where it is. You know, one forty nine nine for a log cabin on eight acres is a pretty good buy. Um, you know, if this thing were all uh, gussied up and, you know, as it should be, uh, you're looking at well, well, well over 200000 for something like this in this market. So, uh, it's a blank canvas to do what you want to do with. And uh, one more thing, pretty much everything here conveys, uh, whether you want it or not. Uh, most of the furnishings, I mean, the seller's going to take her personal effects out of here. Other than that, you can keep the stuff, trash it or whatever, but it's going to come pretty much the way you see it for the most part, less uh, the seller's personal items. Keenan Chan Holtz here, West Virginia Land and Home Realty. Uh, just wanted to take a shot here off the deck on 4605 Crit Now Hollow Road. Uh, the deck's actually in pretty good shape here. Um, you know, everything's pretty sturdy. Deck's in good shape. Uh, plenty of plenty of space out here. And like I said, you got a nice view looking into the mountain. But uh, a couple things I want to point out here, and I'm going to show you some of the damage. Uh, I mean, you could see up there the little holes. I mean, the fascia board's pretty common for the would-be damage, which I said, I mean, that apparently is inactive now. That's all old damage. But, uh, you know, you could obviously just replace the fascia board, but where the holes are in the logs, I mean, you put, fill those with putty. Uh, that's kind of how you remedy that. And then, you know, on the ends of some of these logs on the porch, you can see, I mean, maybe they tried to putty that at one time and didn't do the best job. But for the most part, this is the only, you know, bad log spots I see. It's kind of like right out here on the ends of the porch, uh, on the overhang here. But um, one more thing I want to point out here. So <clears throat> this is actually comprised of two tracks. It's lot number one of Whispering Pines, which is a development that's actually on the other side of Al Hollow Road over there. This is the only lot that's on this, that's on this side of the road. And <clears throat> the owner doesn't pay any HOA dues, no road fees, no nothing. She's even got a letter from them exempting her from that. Now, I would assume you're still subject to the covenants of the development for the most part, but, I mean, you know, this is kind of by itself, and that's how they treat it, you know, no HOA dues, uh, nothing like that, because the access is so good for paying through here. Uh, and then, there's another little acre lot that she owns uh, that goes with, that's part of a development called Al Hollow Cabins. And Al Hollow Cabins is over this way, and that little triangle of an acre kind of lays back in there. She doesn't pay any HOA dues to Al Hollow Cabins either. She doesn't use the road in there or anything like that, and they're fine with that. So, uh, But once again, that lot would be subject to the covenants of Al Hollow Cabins, but um, no HOA dues paid on this place uh, in either development. So, uh, And I'll uh, take a video here on the inside as well, and I'll wrap it up.